What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe After Effects CS6. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a fiery explosion. So this is a piece of stock footage, and you know, you can go online and find this pretty much anywhere. Google for stock footage of an explosion, and this is my intro. I'm just gonna come over here, and we're gonna leave it right there. Now, I have this stock footage here. I'm gonna bring it onto the stage. So that's the explosion. Now, obviously, the black in the background is a problem because that doesn't look very realistic. So let's lock the background layer and I'm just going to have this selected, the explosion layer. So let's go for the color key and this is going to allow me to take the background out. I'm going to take the eyedropper, select the black, and it looks a little bit messy. I'm just going to take this color tolerance and increase it so I'm removing the black. And if you want to do a little feathering you can, that just smooths out the edges. Now I'm going to place this over here and let's see what it looks like. That looks pretty cool for now, and then if you want to add some other things to the video, like some shaking, I have another tutorial where you can do like an earthquake, it's called Wiggler in After Effects, so you guys can check out that tutorial. But for now, let me do something else with this, I'm going to add a lens flare. This is just something I was thinking of, you know, probably make it look even more, um, I don't know, spectacular or whatever. So we're going to take this lens flare, I'm going to unlock the background layer, I'm going to add a lens flare right there. And we can increase this. I'm going to change the kind of lens flare. Let me just increase. And we can animate this. So maybe what I'm going to do is like this. When the explosion is not there, and this is where the lens flare is, right there. Let's take this lens flare and have the effect. Let's put the brightness at zero, one keyframe. And then right there when the explosion takes place, we're gonna add another keyframe. We just leave it like that, actually. And let's play this. So it kind of looks like there's an explosion going on and it causes the brightness. And then you can just come over here if you want to lower this and we'll add another keyframe to the actual brightness. So let's see what that looks like. You get the idea. So there's other things you can be doing with this. It's all to give the illusion that you have an actual explosion in your video. And I think it's pretty cool because when you actually have a real explosion that took place and you can place it in your video, that's when you're working with the capabilities of what After Effects has to offer. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.